Who's going to replace him, Mark, says Tom. Well, everybody seems to be saying Alonso. Um, the big thing about Liverpool will be just, and I'm not a Liverpool fan, so I don't know. The big thing for Liverpool is going to be, how did how does this work? Like, how does this work? How good a job has um, how good a job has Jurgen Klopp done at Liverpool? I think we know he's done a good job, but has he been working miracles? Has he been doing something that no other manager is going to be able to do? Because we saw that at Man United, the Glazers were at Man United for six, seven years before Sir Alex left. And what we found out very quickly is, and I remember Alan Hansen saying this on Match of the Day, Sir Alex Ferguson is so good that he can take any team in the top four and win the league with it. That's the power of Sir Alex Ferguson. I think he said that around sort of 2009. So when Sir Alex Ferguson left, the incompetence of the Glazers really came to roost because no other manager could do what Sir Alex Ferguson did. Now, when Klopp leaves... Is it all about Klopp or does the club actually work without him? Because a new manager could come in and go, oh, my God, I, know, I didn't realise it was like this. And, and that's going to be something to see. I think he set a playing staff up that, that can be transitioned in, under a new manager. But I don't know what the financials are. I don't know what their transfer budget is in the summer. Um, I don't know. And look, I look at Man United and... You look at the revenue yesterday what that came out with from the Deloitte Rich list. I don't know where Liverpool were in it, but Man United had 650 million revenue. Now, we've got big debt and we've got a big wage bill. But under Ineos, if you can reduce that wage bill, our spending power increases every summer. Newcastle are desperately trying to do this. They're desperately trying to get their revenue up, get their wage bill down so that they can spend the billions they've got from Saudi. Man City aren't going to stop. Chelsea aren't going to stop. Are, where are Liverpool in that game? Are Liverpool in a position where they can boost their revenue up big and start spending loads of money? I don't know, because I, I don't know how Liverpool Football Club works. But I think Newcastle are not going to be far off being able to spend a lot of money. Man City can. Man United are working to do it. Chelsea will. And we've not even mentioned Arsenal and Spurs. So I don't know Liverpool spend-wise over the next five years. Where do they put themselves? Do they think they can compete with the big clubs? Are they just off the big clubs? And if Klopp looks at that over the next five years and goes, well, my next five years are going to be the same as the last five years, relentlessly trying to achieve stuff with, you know, one arm tied behind the back. And in which case, in which case you can see, you know, why he'd just go, mm. and he, look, even if they can spend money, maybe he looks at it and goes, this Premier League is just getting more and more competitive. Um, it's not gonna, my job's not going to get any easier. It's going to get harder or it's going to stay the same and it's hard work. Um, I think it is an energy thing. Maybe he's, maybe he thinks there might be a Super League coming down the road and he doesn't want anything to do with it. I mean, we don't know. But I think I think when you listen to the Klopp interview, it really does hammer home the fact that he probably is just tired. And when you look at the legacy of Klopp, when he came to Liverpool, I knew who he was. But I'd enjoyed the last 25 years of Liverpool being shit. I know they won a Champions League, but I never thought I would see Liverpool win a Premier League. Like I genuinely got to the point where I was like, I don't think I'll see Liverpool win a Premier League in my, in my lifetime if I live till I'm 90. I, I genuinely did think that as a United fan. I, I was like, they're just a, a joke. That They can't build a team to win over 38 games. I just don't think... They might win another Champions League. They might win an FA Cup but they won't win a Premier League. They're just not set up to do it. And even when Klopp came in, I was like, well, yeah, good reputation in Europe. I just don't I just don't think he'll do it. And that's the biggest compliment I can play. I, I just never thought Liverpool could win a Premier League. And to see in recent years, I know they've only won one, um, but they were close a few times. And that's down, that's down to him, what he's built there uh, with a mixture of, look, I've said it a few times. He can take an average player and make them top class. He can take a good player and make them world class. He's a magnificent uh, man manager. And I think that's rubbed off on Liverpool. He's When you look at where Liverpool were when he came in, 
to where they are now, it's absolutely incredible what he's done. And, um, you know, they they probably should have won the league when Rodgers blew it. But they didn't. They didn't. And you put Klopp into that situation and, uh, you know, it would have... He'd, he'd have won that league. Uh, one of the greatest managers we've ever had, says Jack Fry. Ten Hag to Liverpool, please, says Debbie. Alonso or Nagelsmann to Liverpool, says TJ. Look, I don't want to give Liverpool any advice and I'm sure Liverpool aren't going to listen to me. But um, one thing I would say is get it right. Uh, and I hope you get it wrong. From a purely rival point of view, I hope you get it wrong. Like most Man United fans, I think we respect what Klopp's done. But there is a part of us going... There's an opportunity next year. Liverpool are going to be in the top four this year, but will they be in the top four next year? And look, it doesn't take long for the vultures to circle. We'll be respectful of the um, departure of Klopp, but once he's gone, you want to grab that opportunity. And whatever Liverpool do, they've got to get it right, because if they get it wrong, you're fucked. Seen it at United. You get it wrong, you bring the wrong... Per I mean, you know what David Moyes did? I mean, I never wanted David Moyes at Man United after Sir Alex Ferguson. It, it makes me want to cry. David Moyes was a good Everton manager and he's a good West Ham manager, but he ain't a Liverpool manager. He ain't a bloody Arsenal manager and he ain't a Man United manager. When we brought David Moyes in, not only was he the wrong coach, he got rid of most of Sir Alex Ferguson's backroom staff. That's it. That was a wrecking ball. Here I am, bang. Liverpool have got to get it right. I, if I was Liverpool, I would go Xavi Alonso and hope that Xavi Alonso wants to work with a lot of the infrastructure that Klopp's put in place. Because if you bring a manager in and he goes, I'm here now, I'm taking control, and they rip it all down, everything that Klopp did is gone. Everything that Sir Alex Ferguson did was gone overnight. And then you're not that club anymore. You're just another club hitting the reset button and... That I, I think the best thing for Liverpool to do, because that team's not at the end of an era. It's not the end of an era, that team. That team, for me, looks like it's starting an era. I think Klopp could have stayed for five years and won things. So you need a manager that's going to come in and move with that team, not break it up. So I think who they bring in next is, is fascinating in a way. Um, and they've, and they've got to get it right. But, you know, you look at what Spurs have done with Ange, and I'm not saying Ange is a Liverpool manager, but that's been revolutionary for Liverpool. You, you know, as much as it's it's terrifying, it can be inspiring. Uh, people are talking about Tuchel. Um, I don't know. Look, it's got to be the right... They've got to get the right guy in. They've got to get somebody that transitions and uh, takes on the foundations that Klopp has clearly built. I mean, he, he's revolution, that, revolutionised that midfield, hasn't he? There's no, there's no two ways about that. Goal Bridge, that's the end of the clip. I'm sure you enjoyed it. In fact, I bet that's the best clip you've ever watched. So there's no reason not to subscribe to the channel, click the bell icon so you never miss a clip again. In fact, smash a like on the video because we all know only legends like videos and you are all legends. So please smash a like on the video and uh, we will see you again on the next one. Thank you very much for watching as always.